Do you remember a couple of videos ago when I presented my smallest jammer? And there was a reason why I didn't call it the world's smallest jammer or something like that. Because for sure there will be even smaller sizes than that one. And if you remember, so in the past I made a video about this one. Which is only 2.4. And it's kind of small. And then it was the smallest jammer that I own, which is somehow almost the same size. Uh, but this is because it has the 3D printed case. So you remember this one. This one had 2.4, uh, 5.2 and 5.8. As you can see here, so it has all the come on focus you can see here 2.4 and 5g and where the buffers or vcos or no matter how how you want to call them so on all my jammers i have these ysgm 232508 which is the one for 2.4 and i thought if this buffer or VCO or no matter how you, can, uh, you want to call it, it's so tiny, why do we need so much PCB, right? Because this doesn't have an amplifier included. So this doesn't work without an amplifier. So we could have the buffer alone, right? Or the module, let's call it the module. And it, it, it's not the same case for this one because this one has the amplifier built in, uh, which I think it's yeah, one watt. It also says here. I found one which is smaller than this. Of course, it doesn't work for both 5G and 2.4, but look at this. It's only the buffer itself. Come on, I it doesn't really want to focus. I see it's the same one. Why is she to three to five zero eight? So it's only the USB C where you are charging it, or you can use five volts on these connections, and that's pretty much it. It can be used as a VCO if you are adding here another SMA antenna as input and it goes through this as output so yeah this is small look at this it's a fraction of its size and it, you can buy for example three of these uh one for, for 2.4 like this one one for 5.2 and one for 5.8 and i think it will still be smaller right somehow or at somehow the same size but this is super small as you can see it's so tiny but it's also very fragile so you have to to be careful when you are uh, working with it so i guess we can test it this is the first time i will uh, power it up i didn't uh, use it before let me see if it has So this is a female. Since it's a female, I will need a male antenna. I don't really expect it to do anything without uh, an amplifier. But let's see. So we have a male antenna. Okay, as you can see here, it's not focusing, okay, most probably it won't do anything, but let's watch the connection, so now I'm connected to 2.4, uh, because this should work on 2.4, let me grab a cable, a USB-C cable 
and let's plug it to two amps and let's see if anything happens i'm expected uh, i'm expecting a green led if it's uh as the all the other ones yeah that's right we have the green led let's wait for a couple of seconds to see if something happens to the connection but i don't think so as you can imagine i'm super super close to the computer but I don't think it does anything. Yeah, so if this is the case, let's switch then. And instead of having the antenna, we will have then, let me just drop everything here, move them here because I don't have enough space. And let me get the amplifiers. So I still have this word driver case. I didn't do a lot of sessions in the past few months. I'm not sure if I will do any in the future. Because at least in my area, most of them are already found. And I don't have so much time currently, honestly speaking to walk or drive around. I'm still worth driving when I'm, I don't know, I'm going somewhere to visit friends or something. But so as I told you, if you have two uh, females, SME females, you can use a pin from those header pins from uh, Arduinos. Because currently both of my connectors are female so let's try not to break anything okay Okay, and I need the email antenna, I think, for the amplifier. Most probably, I don't really remember. Yes, that's right. Let me plug the antenna. Regardless of the device, please plug the antenna every time before you are doing anything because it might be the case that you will fry the entire PCB if you are not using the antenna, depending on the power. But it might be the case. Okay, let's take anything metallic out of the way. And now we need three batteries and I think we need them here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and don't use batteries like this. Once this peels off, you need to replace it. So keep in mind, don't be like me. Uh, fortunately, this is drawing just a few amps. So it's not a big hazard. But, for example, if you are using them in uh, more power-hungry devices, like, I don't know, a vaping pen, a vaping device, that can draw up to 10, 10 amps if it's a, I don't know, a mechanical device. I don't think anyone is using mechanical devices these days, but regardless. So... Let's firstly power the amplifier. Okay. And now let's power the jammer. Okay, both of them are green. Let's see what the connection does.
the connection is still stable. Maybe it needs some time, maybe it doesn't work. I'm not sure if it's faulty or if it doesn't act like a jammer at all. Because I, I just received this and I didn't contact the seller before. So yeah, apparently the connection is still available. So nothing really happens. I can also see the rest of the connections. But this is a good thing because you can now know that you shouldn't spend money on this device or devices such this one. Okay, this was fun. So nothing really happens. It has the same buffer. So everything should be fine. But I guess maybe it's missing something. Maybe the buffer is not enough. So it might be the case. I don't know. I will try to reach out to the seller. To see what exactly. Because all of these devices that can jam the frequency. They are not sold as jamming devices. You, you can understand why. So. As per my knowledge. This should work as a frequency jammer, like all the others, so it just flutes everything, all the, let's say the 2.4 frequency. Um, I guess it's not the case. So, unfortunately, I won't say that this is a fail video, I mean, you are now aware that you shouldn't buy this device, because I had a couple of, of messages on Instagram. And a lot of people are uh, just sending me items from AliExpress telling like, this is a jammer, this is a jammer, do you think this works? Do you think this is uh, this is worth the money and, and, and such? So yeah, for this one, definitely it doesn't work and it's a waste of money. I need to plug everything back. You can decide if this is a useful video or not. Uh, you can also buy this device. Maybe I was just unlucky. Uh, of course, I won't buy another one to test if uh, if another one works because it should work. Also, I'm I don't see why why it shouldn't. Come on, this is a tight fit. I wanted so many times to 3D print the case. For this, I guess I'm just too lazy to do such. Um, actually, it was pretty cheap, I think, five or six bucks, something like that. Uh, we can check together in just one second. And let's see. I bet that there will be folks in the comments that will say, but this is a VCO, this is not a jammer. Yeah, because four years ago, they could sell things advertised as jammers on AliExpress. If you remember, we also could buy things like the HRF or the Devil Crow. And they were marketed as as they were Evil Crow and HackerF. Now, if you are searching for Evil Crow or HackerF on AliExpress, you won't find anything, trust me. Or you can check for yourself. Okay, let's see. Let's go on Ali and here we can search for it. And I will share my screen in just one second. Hmm, you know what? It will be funny not to find it anymore, but I think I will. Two days ago it was advertised everywhere. Now, can't really find it. Let's see. It's a pity that it doesn't work, but what can we do? We are here to learn, right? So we learn from mistakes. Yeah, this is the page. I will share my screen now. And 
as you can see, there are a lot of different frequencies. And it's stated as a VCO, of course. I already discussed the reason. It has two reviews. Mm, nothing. I need to do a few tests, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. I guess it was my fault. But imagine if this worked. This would have been the smallest jammer in my collection. Oh, well. I will keep searching for more interesting jammers. And hopefully you learned from this video that not everything that looks like a jammer is a jammer. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber and see you in the next one. Cheers.